It's hot and spicy day. Microwave pork rinds. My friend Jen got these for us. Do you know where she found them? I don't. But Jen. She probably told me, but I forgot. Yeah. Lowry baking, baking curls. curls. Microwave pork rinds. Hot and spicy. Look, it says it twice. Hot and crispy. Oh, hot and crispy. Oh, there's glare on it. Hot and spicy, hot and crispy. So you're going to nuke it in the microwave. Does it say how long? Well, I'm going to open it. Oh. In the direction. Okay. Shake the bag. Microwave one to two minutes. Watch. Do not leave unattended. Carefully <laughs> open. Now, are we gonna hear it pop like popcorn at some point? I don't know. We're down in 20 seconds of the two minutes. Mm. I hope I don't burn it. Me too. What if it could have did we wait too long to cook it? Could have gone bad? I don't think so. Okay. Kind of puffed up. We just didn't hear it do it. Oh. You ready? Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you don't open it like popcorn. Oh. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna cut it. Okay. Shake bag. Watch. Carefully open. Okay. Do we have to let them do anything for a minute or? No. No? Just eat them like this? You're going to love this. I All smell right. the spicy. Mmm. Let's take it over to the trying stuff table. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm Steve. And this is Steve and Janet. Trying stuff. So my coworker and friend Jen uh -huh. gave us these to try. As we saw in the previous, the video beginning. Where we cooked them. popped them in the microwave. Like good chefs do. Right. They are Lowry's Baking Curls Microwave Pork Rinds. And they're hot and spicy and hot and crispy. So I'm a little nervous. Now, had, had uh, your friends seen us do the yes. trying so they like what? That's where we get a lot of stuff from. People yes. send us stuff to try. Or send and, us recommendations. And I think they know that I'll eat it. I think people are sending stuff like the hot and spicy because they want to see you eat it. I know. I'm a little nervous, but let's dig in. They're bright red. Look, I don't know if you see them. They got a lot of... They got a lot of stuff on them. Big one or little one? I'm going to go medium. All right. It's I'm like gonna... a finger. I'm gonna go. Look at the finger. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. All right. You ready? Cheers. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. It's very flavorful. That's very good. It has some um, butter. Butter. It has butter. That's really yeah. It's got a buttery taste to it. So not too hot not for too, the babies. Uh uh. It shouldn't say hot and spicy. It just should say flavorful and delicious. Mm. I like these a lot. I would buy these. We don't know where she got them though, huh? I'll find out. Okay, because I, I would definitely do these again. Because they're def they're not hot. They're, they're not. They taste good, they crunch, got great crunch mm -hmm. to them. And I didn't even need the water I had hidden behind the bunny. Well, it's not really water. I know it says Dasanti, but. There's no tea. No, Dasani, Dasani. Did I say Dasanti? I did, mm -hmm. didn't I? Anyway, it's a uh, and w sugar-free root beer that you cut up with the tube and pour it in your water. It got a little spicy in my throat. Yeah? It did, but I still love it. Mm, thank you, Jen. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. Mm -hmm. If you're watching it on YouTube, make sure you give it a, a thumbs up and share. Just go ham on that thing. Go ham. Yeah. It's like 2015 all over again. What? People don't really say that much anymore. They don't say go ham? I haven't heard it said in a while. Maybe I'm just out of the Didn't Jesse used to say it all the time? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Oh. What do I say now instead of go ham? I need to know. I need I to know. know. I don't tell know. me, if you're watching this, underneath, tell me what has replaced go ham in the in the in the kids' vocabulary these days. Because <laughs> we want to talk like kids. <laughs> That's true. No we don't. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.